Hello and welcome everyone. So today we are at BIEC Bangalore at Electronica India 2023 Expo and uh, you know two years back there was a bad pandemic that was a worldwide and global uh, phenomenon which we faced but there was one person and we all had taken it very negatively at once but there was one person who had taken this pandemic very positively and working towards the strategy to conquer Europe. I'm having with us that person, Mr. L. R. Katrak, uh, Managing Director of Catlax, who can get us some more insights about the journey of Catlax. And uh, uh, sir, firstly, I would like to congratulate you. The government of India has recognized you as the Star Export House. And uh, just let us know your journey throughout. How did you conquer this? Thank you very much uh, for uh, calling me for this small briefing about my success. If at all you call it success, I'm very humble about it. Uh, as I, as you know, your uh, our association with your publication in the different formats is very long, and it will continue to be long. Uh, let me come back to our company. We are a manufacturer, basically uh, automation components. We started this business way back in 1994 with sensors and automation components like controllers. But thereafter, realizing the limitations that we all Indian manufacturers are passing through that we are very still primitive in basic raw material manufacturers. I mean, when I say electronics, raw materials means components. So we decided that the growth, if it has to come, it has to come when there are advantages like raw material availability, which India is still way, way, way behind anyone's smallest country like Taiwan and Korea. So the advantage of India's high skill labor will only be an advantage or capital or asset when India develops a self-reliance on raw materials and components. So we scientifically, strategically decided to move out of this business where our dependence is there in the every form like raw materials. So then we started re restructuring the company in 2013 onwards and we within the domain of automation we develop components for interface product and now we are catering to automation, robotics, IOTs, and now harnessing, which is the next uh, future of uh, any automotive industry or any manufacturing industry. Surely, and you know, we were having a very long conversation on how we are going to make it to the 5 trillion and how manufacturing is going uh, to play a role in it. Uh, and how you see a Cadillac's role in making it possible. Sir, uh, please let us know. Very interesting question because uh, today everybody talks about the ranking in terms of numbers. But I sometimes miserably fail to understand the theory of number is incomplete unless you correlate the effect of numbers. So it's a very good on the part of Indian business community, Indian leadership, either political or business that we are in inching our position from nowhere to today we are the fifth largest economy in the world. But by having that three fifth number and in the absolute value we are about 3.68 or 3.7 trillion economy as I guess the number one economy which is US which is more than 30 plus trillion the number two economy is China which is 20 plus trillion and then third economy Japan which is 5 plus trillion and then fourth is German and we are fifth so when I look at this number I think it, it, it gives me no big uh, uh, celebration or feeling of achievement because 3.68 trillion economy generated by or for 1.4 billion population, which which reduces per capita income in significant uh, number. So okay, well, every individual or uh, the leader of the organization has to celebrate success. But I think we are too complacent about this. We must work harder till every Indian gets the benefit of the this growth, which will only come by increased GDP and not only numbers but by per capita income, which Definitely. today we are for. Definitely. And uh, so talking about Catlax and uh, the engineers of Catlax, since we are going to celebrate the Engineers Day on 15th of this month. So how do you see the Engineers Day celebration? What, How it should be celebrated and how we should celebrate the engineers in our industry? Yeah, this word engineer is very interesting. It is a basically Spanish word. So engineer means a creativity. And uh, today in the limited language, we mean engineer means working with nut bolts, screwdrivers, arm gazette which are created by those individuals uh, or they call engineers 
बट आई थिंक इंजीनियर्स आर द बैकबोर्न ऑफ एनी डेवलपिंग सोसाइटी वेदर इट इज अर हेल्थ केयर इंडस्ट्री वेदर इट्स इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंडस्ट्री वेदर इट्स आई टी इंडस्ट्री बिकॉज द ऑल क्रिएटिविटी द आइडियाज हैज टू बी ट्रांसलेटेड इन टू गैजेट एंड दैट इज अ जॉब ऑफ जॉब ऑफ इंजीनियर्स एंड दैट इज जॉब फॉर इंजीनियर्स नॉट दे कैन जस्ट वेट ऑल सो इंजीनियर्स हैव टू बी मल्टी फैसिलेट टू क्रिएट आइडियाज make the ideas workable and make the ideas and products affordable that is what our engineer should do surely uh, we wish you the best for the show hope you are having a great time at the show and thank you so much for giving your insightful time to us thank you thank you very much thank you thank you, thank you.